Hi everybody and welcome to Uprising where we're going to be talking today about cancer, molecular hydrogen, otherwise also known as active hydrogen, and we're going to talk about how hydrogen affects both cancer and then also chemotherapy. So I've got some interesting footage here that I think everybody might enjoy. This is footage from Japan and what you're looking at here is some cells. The green represents live cells and they're being exposed to chemotherapy and all the red is cellular death. So you can see the chemotherapy is like dropping a nuclear bomb on these cells of yours and it just kills just about everything. Then you have the same thing happening here except this time they are giving chemotherapy but they're also giving hydrogen. And this hydrogen is protecting the cells and you can still see some cell death rate here but the, it's very minimal. Uh, the differences are quite dramatic. You see the Japanese scientists explaining the differences here between the, uh, the both petri dishes basically and the effects uh, the chemotherapy has on these cells with and without hydrogen. Hydrogen appears to actually protect yourselves from radiation. So let's say that you're, you know, you may be thinking, well, I'm not exposed to radiation. Well, we all are. Um, in fact, NASA is using this technology for their astronauts. And they're doing that because astronauts are exposed to so much radiation in just a 24 hour period, which is actually the same amount of radiation that we get here on Earth in six months. So they're getting so much, you know, bombardment of radiation. Obviously, it's really bad for them. And NASA is now using molecular hydrogen to protect their astronauts. So that was quite fascinating. And then, of course, you want to make sure that you're using proper levels of hydrogen because there is something called therapeutic grade hydrogen, which is usually 0 0.8, 1.0 to about 1.6 ppm particles per million. So that's that's the right levels probably to have. Now, another interesting thing about the effects that hydrogen has on uh, cancer, here, here's some of the other research that I've read is that the hydrogen will actually go into the body and it's completely selective. So it actually goes to, so you have these mitochondria, really tiny cells, and they have the DNA code inside of them. Now, if you have mutated DNA, that's what cancer is. It's a mutation. And then those cells are always replicating, and that's how cancer is spreading. Now, when hydrogen goes into your body, what it actually does is it targets cells with unhealthy DNA, also known as, you know, mutated DNA, and what it does for over 90% of the cancers is it doesn't allow the cells to replicate anymore. Now, what happens to a cell that doesn't replicate? Well, eventually with time, it will die. So that was quite fascinating. It's not like hydrogen is just going to go in your body and start killing cancer. That's not what it does, but it doesn't allow it to replicate. And so that means that in the long term, there should obviously be really good effects on, you know, the cancer. Basically, it would be dying off little by little instead of spreading. So I thought this was good information to share. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time on our next episode.